leave the Yeti open for you. Man, you can stick your fist in there. It's a great day. It's a great day for, for you. No, that's, the a, that's the trip you want to bring your kids on. Yeah, anybody who doesn't have patience, the Gulf of Mexico is for them <laughs> because of the fact that, I mean, it's all day long. I mean, just bent over poles all day long. The law stick. I ain't seen one of them in a long time. <laughs> I gotta give my love as a motion. I gotta fight as big as the ocean. I know it's just a crazy notion. I'm going into the road. My love is in motion. I gotta fight as big as the ocean. It's some crazy notion. I'm going into the road. Sim Rads into the blue. Presented by Yellowfin with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. All right, Scotty, we going fishing, buddy. Oh, man, the Kingfish tournament just ended. I think Super should... Bowl just ended. <laughs> yeah, and I'm done with football now. <laughs> I'm all about the fish. All about the fish. Well, today's going to be fun. We're going to go out in the golf and get bites. You know, it's not like you're going to catch some giant sailfish or, you know, wahoos, but out there in the golf, I mean, anything goes. Snap, Make my day. Snapper, grouper. Uh, obviously, there'll be all kinds of sharks and jacks, but it's just a lot of bites, and it's one of my favorite things to do for just the action. Action packed fishing out there. And I know you don't get to go under the bridge too much at Hawks Cay. Yeah, never, never. What are y'all, 90% of the time or in the. Uh, in the 100%. Atlantic? 100%. 100% of the time. <laughs> Down here, we can go either direction. You know, I mean, as you guys can as well, but um, we usually use it to our advantage because of the wind direction. So today, south at 20. You know, it's a no-brainer. Down here, it's, it, you got to play the weather. It's such a, a crucial uh, element in where you're going to fish and what you're going to fish for. And, um, you know, having that whole week to fish, I knew I wanted to get you out in the golf. I know you said you don't really go under the bridge at all up here at Duck Key, and you don't really um, get to fish in the golf too much. I mean, your guys mostly want to catch the sailfish and some of those ocean-going uh, species. But um, for us down there, the, the golf is an outlet to always have a good fishing day. And um, it seems like those fish in the golf are really, um, they, they cooperate really well. They like to bite. The bottom fish uh, is, um, it's a little further run. You know, we run down around the Marquesas and um, it, it doesn't get the pressure that I think you get up and down the keys where a lot of boats can just zip out. I mean, so no matter what key you're on, you can just pop out. So no matter how far you run, you're gonna run into a spot that maybe somebody else already fished. All the way from Miami down to Key West, someone's popping out four miles. Yeah, and, it, and it's right there at their doorstep. So we had the, the break in the weather. It was the approaching front. Um, we went by the Marquesas first. Yeah. And we threw the net. It's always a pretty float ride ever. Yeah, it's a neat area. You know, it really is. It, uh, it, it's kind of like a, a whole chain of islands in a kind of a circle, you know, with a with an open bay in the inside where a lot of guys, I mean, there's world record flash fishing that goes on there. World class, I mean, tarpon, permit, um, it's just a mecca of species of fish that live around that island chain because you have deep water all the way around that place. You got a boat grand channel on one side, the other side you have the quicksand, so it's current moving constantly. A lot of bait fish, with bait fish you have a lot of predators. The birds are amazing. Let me know if it's too shallow, dude. I don't want to stick this joker. Cause you talking to me about getting stuck, eh? Well, it's... There is a channel to take us right back. We're good. It's getting deep again. Head towards that comorant. All right, I will. I would throw a pancake in that deep hole when we get up to it. All right, they're still in front of us. Dude, if you can hit them on this left, hit them on this left. All right, turn her off and drift me. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful, Scotty. Sparkly. That might be enough to go fishing, buddy. That'll work. Actually, we can go fishing with that. 
the bay wasn't super thick. You know, again, we had that dirty water, that west wind. Um, yeah, and the whole day was about the west wind. You know, we left the, when we left Key West, said, listen, we're gonna hit the, the Gulf today because the ocean's shut down because of big swell. We're gonna go somewhere where it won't be a swell, but we're gonna catch a lot of fish. What a great option. They even make those anymore? Your grandfather passed you oh, that? Oh, no, baby. Yeah, there you go. I don't go anywhere without one. The law stick. Sim Rads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Key West, close to perfect, far from normal. And by Seaguar, Under Armour, and Tailwalker Charters. Oh, I hear I hear drag. Ah, uh, he's not pulling too hard though. I'm done. T I'm done rigging now. I'm getting back in. I'm getting in the game. I uh, think the little red grouper probably feels like anyhow. Oh yeah, little red. The saltwater bass. Oh, that's Nemo. Look, you only got half a tail. Nemo! All right. Find his daddy. When we fish in the Gulf, we don't need a whole lot of bait because most of the time we're just bottom fishing. It's not like you're on the ocean and you're throwing scoops over the side that get annihilated in 10 seconds by a school of tuna or bonita. Um, that place in the Gulf, it's just more of a bottom thing. And, uh, and we started out on a couple spots that I've fished forever on my charters. We take kids down there and they, I mean, you get a bite literally every time the bait touches oh, yeah. the bottom. How, how much fishing do you wanna do? If you put a bait on a hook, you're gonna have a bent pole. And I tell people all the time is if, if you put a bait down and you touch the bottom, and if you're not hooked up, you either lost your bait or you're not on the bottom. Red grouper. Another red. Whack. Come here, Mr. Red. Not quite big enough. Look at that mouth. You can feel it with my hand. It's just, he's, his crushers or whatever. He's telling us, I want to go away. All right. Dollar on the first keeper. All right. Gonna need some bait to win that dollar. Oh, he's pulling out the secret weapon. There you go. Oh, oh all I knew was better dollar. <laughs> Not quite pulling hard enough, Scott. Little red grouper. I went bigger. I was trying to get my buck. It's gonna be close. Another red. He's got a hook oh, in. Oh, that's the one you lost. Look at that. No, nope, no, it was just wrapped around his face. Oh, was it? They're not the ones we're after yet, but who wouldn't want to do this all day long? Well, that's great <laughs> fishing, man. It's every time down you get in a bite. Every time down. Oh, mangy. Oh, there's a mangy. Not gonna take your dollar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna up the ante. Gotta be a little bit bigger. Hey, listen. <laughs> I think that one needs to go in the box. I love in the box is going to cost you a dollar. I know, but I, I'm, I'm willing to <laughs> let it cost me a dollar for a nice, fresh mangrove snapper filet. That is one of my best recipes right there. Yeah, the beauty of this actually is it's rough. You can't fish on the ocean. We got it nested. Little fuel, case of chum, a couple, net th couple throws of live bait, and we're in for the whole day. It doesn't really get much easier than that. No, yeah, it's real simple fishing, real clean, other than you get so many bites. The red grouper, he's a you know pretty prolific grouper down in South Florida. You know, it's a really uh, fast growing grouper. There's a lot of long line fishery for it. I mean, I think a lot of the fish you're eating in the Keys, when you order grouper, it's either gonna be a red or a black. I would think a majority of it would be the red grouper. 
Scott, because of the fact that they, they bite, you know? They, mm -hmm. they're, they're Look not, at them, yeah. We've already caught a dozen. They're not like a, uh, a black grouper or a gag where you actually got to present a little bit of a live bait or a shorter, um, a smaller pound test leader, where those reds, man, I've caught them on chicken bones, you know? Oh, there's the drag. Teased them up for you with my ballyhoo. What you got? Mutton, a lane. I got a lane. In the this side. Was, this wasn't the first bite either. I got bit a couple of times. Oh, that's getting close. Red. I want to see one of them fire truck red groupers. Oh, what the? Oh, oh I did. Ah. Oh, what? The? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Now you. Oh, now it's all finesse, break. baby. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. The, head, the one head shake. I knew it. <laughs> I mean, are we catching the same fish over and over again, or what? Because he's got several holes in his mouth. <laughs> They're all the same size. We need to get off the playground. Where is that measuring stick at, sir? He ain't much, but he might make it. And that will give me the incentive to pull the anchor. <laughs> oh, I forgot, we have a windlass. All right. See the Lego pose? Look at that thing. Four foot long. <laughs> Not little red. I mean, I don't know if he'll make it, but it just feel good to measure one. They even make those anymore? Your grandfather passed you oh, that? Oh, no, baby. Yeah, I think you I don't go anywhere with that one. The law stick. I ain't seen one of them in a <laughs> long time. Oh, boy. Got him where you want him? Yeah. He's nice. Oh, hold on, hold on. The, the new rule is you get to pinch the tail. He's still not gonna make it. What do we got? All right, there's 20. <laughs> uh, he's not gonna be that long in an hour. Oh, he's good. <laughs> Look over here. This is like the Mad Fin, Jack. One camera on one end. Look. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's legal. He's legal, dude. Let him go. <laughs> really? 22 right. inches. He made it, though. <laughs> Man, you're getting soft in your old age, guy. <laughs> You were probably digging all those commercials last night. <laughs> all right, let's go. All right, bud. Let's make a move. Sim Rants Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Plano. Shimano and Spear One Charters. With all the boat builders building bigger and bigger boats nowadays, 39 and 42 foot outboard boats are actually the norm. And when you're going to spend that much money, you have to pick the proper power choice. The power choice for us has always been Mercury. They're most reliable engines on the water. And it's not just that. When you're going to be on the water 80 to 100 miles offshore, sometimes making trips as far as 400 miles, which we just did last month, 39 and 42 foot upwards today are very difficult to trailer. So to get them from point A to point B, they're actually traveling on their own keels. We just had our boat delivered from Tampa Bay 400 miles to Louisiana in a gale. And with the reliability of the Mercury Rado, Eric had the confidence to deliver it 400 miles through the open Gulf of Mexico. You can't go 400 miles without absolute trust in your equipment. The Mercury Verado 300s are the power choice we use for In the Blue TV and back home safe every time. And if you're gonna find yourself in 12 to 15 foot seas, nothing can go wrong. Getting home safe to dock is priority one, and with Mercury, that's gonna happen day in and day out, every day. Made me throw my legal grouper away. That thing is shrunk an inch on the way home. <laughs> they say the ice shrinks them. That one will make it. Same exact as the other one. Where's that law stick at? The mutton? Yep, I thought it was a lane for just a second. Tell me, where's that law stick there, big dog? I'll go get it. 
Well, that's uh, a big thing. You've got to have a measuring stick out there. You know, it's very difficult nowadays to actually know what is in season, what's not in season, what the size limit is, because it's such an ever-changing process with these fisheries. It's hard to keep up, no it's matter what part of Florida up, you're in. You know, and, and so you really need to take some time before you head out and get online, do some research, uh, figure out what's open, what's closed, and figure out the size limits. Um, because a lot of times now they're not necessarily making a, a season, they're going on a quota. So they're saying, okay, the recreational angler has caught 500,000 pounds of red grouper we're going to shut it down. So you really need to be aware minute to minute and know whether that fishery is open or closed. Um, and we did that and then you had the law stick. We brought that on board. We used it a bunch. A lot of people don't realize is you're actually allowed to pinch the tail. And what that means is... Yeah, you showed me that. Yeah, you're not gaining any length out of it, but you're just stretching the fish out and getting the whole length of the fish. It's a law stick. Yeah. Are you? I'm up. Yeah, I'm good. I'm up. Half inch over. There you go, man. See? There you go. We got grouper for dinner. Blacking grouper on Caesar salad. Yeah! Check. Steve put us on a nice catch of red groupers. And I'm not going to do anything fancy with this. My favorite way to eat grouper is fried. And my best way to prepare that is to make a fried grouper BLT. Plain and simple. Get a fresh piece of white bread, some crisp bacon, lettuce, and tomato, and uh, deep fry a piece of, of red grouper. Uh, panko and Italian breadcrumbs. That's it, no egg wash. So we're gonna get this guy cleaned up here. And I'll, I mean, I'm talking super simple. You're gonna take a BLT and just add one ingredient, a big, nice fried piece of this grouper to go with it. The grouper spine, believe it or not, is nothing like the mutton spine. Cuts, cuts like butter. Again, nice sharp bubble blade makes this work almost effortless. He's out of here. Clean up the ribs and then we'll clean up the table. We take skin off. Some for the tax man. All right. If we're gonna be frying it. We just want a nice friable pieces to put on a piece of bread. You take your fillets, pat them dry, roll them in Italian breadcrumbs and panko, set them off to the side. Get your deep fryer hot, 375 degrees. Drop them in. Have your bacon already ready, your tomato already sliced. Take your white bread, your mayonnaise, just prepare your BLT. Finish it with a nice piece of grouper and then some mayonnaise. For any more recipes, go to intheblue.tv. Simrat's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, has been brought to you in part by Simrad. Go with confidence. Mercury Marine number one on the water, and by Costa, and Ameritrail. If that greenhorn wasn't in our chum slick, might get some mackerel going. Chill out, boys. Might have to bust out the law stick. Oh yeah, there's a little, a mini fire truck. He is definitely a non-measurer. <laughs> You're not even gonna go there, are you? Uh-uh. I'm gonna leave the Yeti open for you. Man, you can stick your fist in there. That one is good. It's a great day. It's a great day for, for you as, uh, a, as a, a captain. That's the trip you wanna bring your kids on. Yeah. Uh, your family, any, you know, that's a great family day. Anybody who doesn't have patience, the Gulf of Mexico is for them <laughs> because of the fact that, I mean, it's all day long. I mean, just bend over poles all day long. And uh, you teach somebody how to tie a knot, let them go at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, usually when I'm out there, we put a bucket with a little water in it, put a scoop of bait in it, and send somebody to the bow because they're so tired of walking <laughs> back and forth to get another bait because it's 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 as fast as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, and the best part about it is a lot of good eating fish. Yeah. Learn your limits. Uh, take what you need. Let the rest go. Put a lot of sunblock and have a great day. Now nah, that's that's what the keys are all about, and that's what makes Key West that much more special. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, no doubt.
That's a cool fish for that shallow water. Oh, yeah. Big old head on him. It was running like a shark. Awesome. That's how you bring a 20 pounder in the boat. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you, Scotty. I think I'm going right back down in that same spot. I would. He can't be alone. No. That's a nice fish. Awesome. Woo! <laughs> going in the box. Leave me another hook. I'll get that one out later. Back to the same hole. Oh! He's a keeper. <laughs> He's fat. He's angry. Come here there, Mr. Red Grouper. Bucks yep. Hill eating red. Oh, he's fat too. He heavy wire. He's a fatty. I think he's good, Bob. I'm not mad. I think you need to, but there it is. He's a rider. <laughs> I just like seeing this thing, man. <laughs> You've had that since 92, haven't you? <laughs> Look, if you actually read it, 18 legal grouper, you know what I mean? That's an oldie. The names are all wrong, but... No, it says grouper red, right here, 20. Oh, sure. He blew right by 20. Oh, yeah, 21. My favorite age. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Over the pail and in the rail. Or no, it's the other way. <laughs> Over the rail and in the pail. All right. Take me home. We got a lot of fish to clean. Nice, easy fishing, you know what I mean? Light line. No, 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 that's easy living, boss. Easy, easy living. living.